Hello and welcome back to Tech No wait, Tech it no? Technic, yeah that's it. So I've got one of you guys asking me, um how do I do how do I transfer power from industrial crafts or generators or solar panels or anything uh into build craft power in Technic because it's actually a bit different, there's no energy link. So I can show you that right now actually. Just you know, just does this prove there's no energy link in, in Technic? We go, none of them are in energy links. So, way back, and um, a bit way back, I mean about two months, <laughs> uh, there was a mod called Forestry for Tekken and Technic, and it had an electrical engine in it. And that's been removed and been replaced by the energy link. And now the energy link is getting slowly removed by more electrical engines. So, let's set up a basic, uh, basic system. So, let's put a, a pump, you know not a pump and a quarry and we have a generator we chuck some coal in the generator just for good measure we have a cable running out of it <coughs> now hello the way you do this in Technic is very simple uh, they made this change so that just like in industrial craft you have low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage etc you sort of have the same thing now in this so there's four different types of uh, electrical engines you can use. There's the slow, slow electric engine, which produces only one Minecraft joule. There's the regular one, which produces five. And there's the fast one that produces ten. And then apart from that, you have the adjustable electric engine. And this produces as much as you want, really. You can, you can change it. So a quarry, let me make it day. A quarry uses nine Minecraft joules to run at an optimal speed. So you can use a fast one and you'd lose only one Minecraft shield because it, it generates 10 and only needs uh, 9 for the quarry so that's fine you know. So before we, that, uh, before we do that let me show you how to make them first that sounds like a good idea. So the slow electric engine uses a RE battery, an electronic circuit and a steam engine. Why? Because it, it, it outputs about the same rate as a steam engine does. So the steam engine is made with some cobblestone and glass and some stone gears and a piston. So it's it's fairly cheap, but it also you generates a l low low amount of energy. Like you'd need nine of them to power a quarry at full speed. So not the best, you know, not the best. Next thing we have the regular one, and it needs a combustion engine with a battery and a circuit. And the combustion engine is exactly the same thing except for Anyway, you put cobblestone, you put iron. So iron ingots instead of cobblestone, and iron gears instead of cobblestone gears. Easy, isn't it? And then you have the fast one, which you'll probably be using the most. Now this uses two combustion engines, two advanced alloys, two electric circuits, and three RE batteries. Still fairly cheap, you know. Uh, it's, it's not too expensive. Now, once you make these, you just plonk it down, and it looks like, just like a redstone engine, or a steam engine, or anything like that. You hook it up with power, oh, hook it up with power, you can see the generator starts working, you can right click on it to see sort of the energy levels. So it's not doing anything until this gets to full. And just like any other build craft machine, you need to power it with redstone. And there you have it. That is how you do it in Technic. And I think, I mean I, I could be wrong, but I think that this is coming over to TechKit as well. Now, why do I think that? Probably because it just seems more logical than just the energy link, where the energy link can accept anything, can do anything, can do as much power as you want, there's no limit to it, and it just seems a bit too easy. <laughs> Whilst this, you actually have to think and go, okay, so this produces 10, the quarry uses oh, quarry uses 9, so that's a good fit there. Now, apart from that, you can also do something that you could do with any other sort of uh, engine in the craft is you can hook these up to get oops together let's do that you don't have to do it like that but so let's space them out nicely shall we come on actually I haven't tested it so let's try that does that work yep so it doesn't matter where the um, even though on the on the back of it here power symbol you don't actually have to put it in the power symbol um, but you can power lots of these together like that for example um, we'll probably have to put another generator down 
And then you can use gold conductive pipes coming out of it. Or wood conductive pipes, you know, uh, to get the power out and then pump it into a quarry. But, you know, really you might as well use a proper one. Now, one special one that I'll show you is the adjustable electric engine. And, and this one is pretty cool. Even though you, I don't think you're actually going to need it much. So that's how it looks. When you right click on it, you get this interface and it's pretty cool. So you get converting 25 EU to 10 uh, Minecraft Joules. And then you can change it. So you can say, I want to get 30 Minecraft Joules for, for example, three quarries. And it's it'll tell you it uses 75 EU. It's pretty handy, you know? That's pretty cool. Uh, now to make that one, it's quite expensive. You need three combustion engines, you need an advanced machine block, two actually. A HV transformer, an advanced circuit, and two Lapatron crystals. So it's pretty expensive. But then again, you can power as much as you want with it, really. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful of is you can't put a wooden conductive pipe on this because it can't handle it uh, when you go up too much. So if I go to, I don't know, you know, you can go 2000 EU, 730 uh, microjoules, um, straight from a nuclear reactor, for example. You have to be careful, you can't use wooden conductive pipes, there's, um, I'm actually not sure what they're called, let's see if we can find it, there's, there's new pipes added by this mod, uh, it's something called a HV pipe or something, mm, let's search it a bit differently, HV, no, that's it, HV wooden conductive pipe. And that's just made with a wooden conductive pipe and an advanced circuit. So this one can handle as much power as you want, but a normal wooden um, pipe will break. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's sort of how you make everything work. And it's, uh, you know, the texture pack doesn't have the textures yet, so it looks kind of ugly. But it makes more sense, you know, it makes more sense than an NG link where you can just put as much power into it as you want and it'll just power anything. Um, this is uh, much nicer. So yeah, there you have it. If you have any other sort of stuff that you want me to make a tutorial on, just let me know in the comments. I, I usually read the comments still, so um, let me know, and I'll probably do a video on it. So yeah, if you liked the video, like the video. Wow, that sounds very cryptic. And uh, hit me up with a subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.